everybody, it's Miss Winnie RN. I am taking a break from homework tonight and I wanted to share with you guys a new hobby I've picked up. I know I don't need another new hobby. I knit and I crochet and I um, am back in school. Thank goodness I have finally gone back to school and I have the new grandbaby so I think I have enough hobbies but as you know I do like to knit and crochet a lot so I thought that it would be interesting to um, try to hand spin my own yarn. So what I did was I went and picked up a spindle and some fiber. This is roving and all it is is um, say this was wool which it's not. It is the fresh cut pelt off a sheep. So you have to spin it to turn it into yarn and then you make one single ply and then you ply multiple plies together to make a yarn. So I thought that I would uh, show you guys kind of how this works. Mind you, I'm brand new to this, so I'm just learning. So this yarn that I've done so far is just going to be um, probably just a thick and thin art yarn. It's really pretty um, and it will probably just be used for crafts or something. It may just be a thick and thin that I use for the rug that I'm going to put in the RV because I put down some flooring and it's not perfect either, but it's home and I did it. So I'll just cover the odd spots with a rug. So the way the roving comes is in a ball. Isn't that beautiful? I love the colors in that. That's why I picked this one. Um, and this is actually acrylic roving, which we all use acrylic yarn sometimes. Um, I like to use it for new moms because they don't have to worry about washing and drying it and it not being messed up and felting and all that. The other yarn that I did purchase, um, let me tie this off real quick so that I can put it down. Um, I did pur pur purchase some wool um, and I don't want to attempt this yet, but I do want to show it to you because look at these colors. Are they not just the most beautiful colors in the world? And it's actually showing up pretty true on the video. There's some purples and some blues and some teals. And this is actually um, Polworth wool top. And this is the fiber. So what you do is pull it apart like this. And then you pull it from here and then add a twist to it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, like I said, if you are a spinner and you're going to watch this video, please have patience with me um, as I'm just learning and I'm trying to teach myself because there's not a whole lot of yarn spinning clubs. Um, you two has been fantastic for helping me um, with this little endeavor. Um, and I may never spin more, no more than what I have already. But anyway, it's fun to try. It's relaxing. It gives me a break from my studies, nursing research, um, for a little while. So I spend 15, 20 minutes each day and see how this goes. So here's what we do. So I, like I said, I already have some on here. So you start with like a plain piece of yarn down here and you attach your fiber to it. It goes through the notch. There's a little notch here. Let's see if I can get this off. It's a little notch right there. You can see the little notch. You set it in the notch. There's a hook there. You hook it on the hook. And it just, it says what it is. It's a spindle. So you spin it and it creates the twist in the fiber. So, and I do, because I'm new, I do the park and draft method. So it's got a long handle. I park it between my knees. I grab where the twist is. I draft some of the fiber, which is just, drafting is just pulling it apart, making it thinner. Let's see if I can do this. Trying to watch the camera on you guys. So see how I made it thinner there? And some fibers have a long draft and some fibers have a short. So I have the twist pinched here. I let it go and it runs up to where my other finger is to stop it. And then I give it another twist and I'm twisting counterclockwise to make this fiber. And I twist up, draft just a little bit more I'm trying to make this a single ply yarn so that I can ply it together with another one. Hold my yarn, let this hand go, and the twist runs up. 
and eventually I want to get good enough to where I can just spin and twist and draft and all at, all at one time while the spindle is spinning, but I'm not there, so we're not going to try that. So we spin the spindle while I have it pinched. It's creating a twist. I don't know if you guys can see the twist. I'll hold it close. It's creating a twist. I park it, and of course, I'm very right-handed, so I have to, I draft. I let the twist run up. Let the twist run up, and then you take this off, and when you have a good twist, it kind of rolls up on itself, like that. And you park it on your spindle. It's just rolling it up on the spindle. Back through the notch, around the top, and twist. A counterclockwise spin on mine because I will spin these two together clockwise. Let it go. Draft some more. Got it. Spin. Draft some fiber out, make it thinner, just pulling it apart. The twist run up. See the twist? Runs up. And I let the twist run up until it doesn't twist anymore. And then I give the spindle another spin. Whether that's the quick, correct way to do it or not, I don't know, but that's how I'm doing it. That's how some of the YouTube videos showed. Park it between my legs, draft some fiber out, let it run up. Draft some more fiber. Some of these I get too thin, but it's all in learning, and like I said, this and it twists up on itself. So that's, from what I understand, is a good twist because you want it to do that. Because when you take it off the spindle, you have to set the yarn. Uh, so another good spin. So we got some loose hairy fibers there. Once it's spun and it's got a twist to it, it's very strong, even though it's very thin. It's very strong because you're blending those fibers together and twisting them together. And up, another spin. Pull and draft. See if you can watch the spin run up. If it'll do it, we can see it. And it ran up, and it's now fiber. It is now a single ply yarn. Oh. I've got a twisty loop in my spindle over here. Untwist some of this. You see how it's thicker there than it's thinner there? It's just going to be something for, I'm going to make a Mandela rug. I got that out. For the RV to go over the floors where I messed up the floors. So. I like the yarn, I like the colors. This kind of space agey. That doesn't have enough twist in it right there. Hmm. What happened there? Anyway, we'll give it another twist. have unwrapped a little bit when I was putting on the spindle. Like I said, I'm not an expert by any stretch of the imagination. I'm having fun with it and that's what matters. So I just wanted to show you guys what I was doing these days. Maybe some point you'll see some hand spun offered on my CJC Knits website, Facebook page. Um, I hope to get a spinning wheel at some point, a little portable one, so that I can put it in the RV. I think that would be super fun. Um, but until then, I just thought I'd share with you guys. I hope you guys have a great evening. And um, if you are a spinner of yarn, let me know what I'm doing wrong. 
Um, I do like constructive criticism as long as it's done nice. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. I have the next couple days off, so I'm going to work on this and some homework and some snuggles with my squish. If you guys don't know who my squish is, it's my five-month-old grandbaby. She's my squish. And um, then I will continue with this and hopefully get it right. If not, well, it's been fun playing with it. Um, but otherwise, I think it's going to be a blast to try to do this. I've got bunches of yarn. Each one of those little primary color balls uh, is two ounces, and I have six of those two ounce balls. So that'll be enough to make something fun out of it anyway. And um, make the Mandela rug. The Mandela rug for the RV is huge. It's um, ah. It's more like a, it's gonna be more like a, a blanket for the floor, I think. It's just so big. It's one of my, uh, where did I find that? Pinterest? No. Um, Revelry? Maybe on Revelry's website. It's a Mandela rug. So again, now that I've got back to where I was, spin. Draft, pull the fibers apart. Pinch. Spin. Draft. And you want to pinch it where you don't want it to go any further. And it's got a nice little roll back on itself. So that's apparently a good thing. I was just watching some YouTube videos on that. YouTube is a wealth of information if you haven't figured that out by now. Too bad they can't teach me how to do math. So. Anyway, uh, I think that'll be it for tonight. I'm going to keep working on this for a little while. And I hope you guys have a wonderful evening and the rest of your week. And I love you. Take care.